This is the Easy Scanner, which is made out of a few basic plumbing materials like these pipes, some bends, a bit, some bits of MDF, two cameras and a piece of plexiglass with a few other materials. Now you'll notice one of the key features of this scanner is that it moves up and down, a bit like a teeter-totter or a seesaw. As it moves down, the platen is flexible and is able to fit right into the groove of the book. And there are two cameras, as you see, and those move up and down with the plexiglass, so they're always in the exact right position uh, in relation to the page. Once they've been focused, they always focus correctly. And both the cameras are fired with this little infrared uh, device, which fires both cameras at once. They both have infrared detectors. These are um, Pentax cameras, very cheap. I got them on eBay and one press of the button will fire both cameras at once. So it moves up and down, you turn the page and bring it down again. And it's very quick to use. You basically are firing the cameras after each turn of the page and you get two shots of each page. So it moves very, very quickly. So you can see the mechanism, very simple, made out of tubes and plumbing fittings and it's very cheap and very easy to make. Okay, now I'm going to show the different components of this. Um, I'm going to, it's, it's dismantleable, it folds down really small. And I'm going to just show you some of the component parts so you can see how to make it. And I'll be showing with each of the component parts how you actually make that part so that you can do it yourself at home. Now there are two components that aren't shown on this particular uh, video but they, they are ready to go. One is the lighting and I've not put that on just because it's very bright and I want you to be able to see what's going on and there's also a, a black cover sort of a tent like thing which covers the entire mechanism so that it keeps out extraneous light but I'll talk about those later on. At the moment I just want to show you how this thing takes apart and it's very easy. Now the key fact the key feature of this is the platen which is made out of plexiglass and that's just held on with a couple of screws. Take those out and it's not tightly screwed. It just um, can swivel a little bit on this. It's in, just intent to swivel. And so that pushes out. And that's one end of the platen taken out. And this one takes out. So that's the platen. And the platen is set at 90 degrees and there's a good reason for that and that is that it's very easy to make this kind of platen at 90 degrees and much more difficult to make it at um, a different angle. Some people suggest 100 degrees would be better but this seems to work fine and it's very easy to make and I'll tell you how to make it later on. Okay so this uh, that's the platen. Two cameras obviously we'll just take those off those are fastened on with uh, these loops and those are usually used for fastening a camera onto bicycle handlebars. Got those on eBay. We'll just take the two cameras off there. Right, so you've got this mechanism which moves up and down. And the cameras and the platen are counterbalanced by these two weights, which are actually used by uh, people who want to develop their wrists and arms and muscles. They just come off like that, just with a bit of Velcro. Again, got them very cheaply on eBay. And uh, that provides a counterbalance. That provides a counterbalance for this mechanism, which just goes up and down like this. If we take away the actual book and the cradle, take those out to one side. And we'll take this base thing away. And so that that is the basic part of the mechanism. It's completely made of tubes. Um, it's got one rod which goes through here and acts as a pivot. And that's it basically. So that's a very simple, straightforward, and elegant mechanism. And it works very well uh, with this counterbalance approach. So that's the structure of the thing and I'm going to show you the component parts in more detail. Okay, now this is the cradle 
which holds the book and it has uh, three major components one side of the book holder another side of the book holder and the book goes in the middle like that it's quite simple okay now how are these made this is made out of MDF um, you could use plywood or some other material like that and it rests upon the baseboard now this is the baseboard now this whole part of the mechanism moves completely freely it's not attached to the tubes at all it has to be able to just move sideways to allow for the thickness of the book this is plenty far enough because you never have a book that thick but it has to allow for movement of the book so how does it move underneath there are a couple of drawer runners there which just slide backwards and forwards got them on ebay and i put a little bit of lego just at the end to stop it going too far so there's just that's underneath and it sits on the table and can move backwards and forwards okay there we go like that now this is another piece of MDF and on the back of it you see I've got some angle brackets which are simple building materials which I picked up in our local DIY store and they're at 90 degrees so this if you set it on the table that forms a nice 45 degree angle for the book and when you get another one it forms another 45 degrees making 90 degrees degrees in the middle those are just screwed on and these ones on the left don't move they're on the left hand side and they're right down to the uh, edge of the MDF there's a couple of bits of Lego there that stop it sliding around just stop it moving back too far and that sits on the table that way okay now on the other side what are these things these are actually um, electrical connecting uh, things made out of plastic um, I'll just show you one of these now this is one of them I'm sure you've seen one like this before it's just a plastic connecting block but I thought it would be useful because it's got these positions that you can use down here so I took all the screws out and the um, metal from inside there and cut each of these at an angle and you can see these are cut at an angle of about 45 degrees not very accurate but just trimmed off the screws and everything else has been taken out and I'm just using that and those were stuck on with some uh, hot glue just to stick them in position now why do we have them like that because books come in various thicknesses and so this here fits into them but you notice that this is slightly away from the edge because it's to, that's to allow for the same distance the same height of the uh, chop blocks as they're called down here so that can go into various positions and move back simply to allow for a different width of the book here so you can see it's wider here if you move it back it goes narrow and so you can just choose an approximate width of the book it doesn't really matter that much it's not crucial uh, but that's plenty okay so uh, that's the uh, that's those things just screwed onto the back there notice that they are a bit from the edge the other one if you compare it is right up at the edge because it's resting straight on the baseboard so we've got those two bits there this one here and the book goes inside that area there there it fits right nicely just to give width, the width of the spine of the book on there so that's the base and remember the base just moves it can move left and right just to allow for the thickness of the book because the the platen will come down at this point at the beginning of the book and will be further over here at the end of the book it will just there's a slight amount of movement left to right that's needed so that is completely independent it's not attached in any way to the rest of the frame of the uh, copy of the scanner.